What's up guys? Scott here at Madcall Belt again. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. Um, I wanted to make this video to answer a few of the questions that I've seen in the comments. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I got going on with the uh, spoon brakes on the EG. So I've got lots of messages about the videos so far. Um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everyone's loving it and that's great. Um, you know, I have a lot to learn, but um, I'm having fun too. So one of the few, these are a few of the questions that I've got multiple times so far on the first videos. Um, people are asking, Dino Time, are you going to show Dino Time? I'm definitely going to do some videos with cars on the Dino. Um, once I get into that, um, there will be a lot of those. Um, so they are coming. Uh, K-Pro How To's. That's something I could do. Um, while I don't recommend playing around um, with your programmable ECU a lot if you don't know exactly what you're doing with it, I can do some how to's on the basics, you know, like things that um, people like to mess around with on themselves or things that you should change on a daily basis if you're able, you know, weather related with your tune. Um, intro. I'm definitely going to make an intro. Uh, Working on that video editing, brand new to that um, with music, etc. I'm working on it. I've been trying different apps for this stuff and um, Googling, just reading, you know, it's all learning, so it'll come. Uh, tripod. I definitely need to get like a vlog camera or a tripod or something set up. Um, you know, I was just trying to make a little video with the brakes for you guys, and obviously, I'm just using my phone, which is a Galaxy Note 10, it does take great video but it is very hard to like stand it up and set up a video that works um, with your phone. Well, I've got a lot of people asking, am I a one man shop? You know, is there other employees here, etc." Now, I am a one man shop. I do primarily 90% of the work myself. Um, I do most of the Dino Tunes myself, but I do have friends, you know, my team, that will come help me whenever I need. You know, I have a huge base of friends that I'm very thankful for. A lot of people that I've met in this business, customers that turned into friends, a lot of customers have turned into really good friends of mine, and uh, I'm appreciative of that. So while I am a one-man shop, I'm never alone. My team's always ready to come help, and, um, you know, I do the same for them. And, you know, a lot of people have been asking how long I've been doing this. I've been doing this for probably close to 15 years now full-time as my only job about five years um it's been busy enough for the last five years that this is the only thing i've been doing it's been my full-time job um you know and i've built my whole life around um, building hondas basically you know especially for the people that are just joining and are just starting to follow my page you know if you look back on my instagram I've built a lot of K-Swap cars, a lot of turbo cars, um, you know, so it's, it's been good. And, you know, we're just really growing now at a, at a fast rate. And I guess that's kind of why I decided to get into YouTube and um, share some more of what's going on because sharing pictures on Instagram and, and Facebook, I'm not sharing even half of what I'm doing with you guys. Just most of the time I'm not capturing it. You know, so it'll be nice to try to get some more of that out there and let people really see what's going on. Um, I think that's good for now. Um, I'm going to go into the shop and I'm going to show you guys what I got going on with the uh, spoon monoblocks that I'm putting on the EG. Now, as we know, the monoblocks are made for the newer style. They're made for the, uh, the RSX, etc. Not meant for the EG. So there's a couple changes we have to make to get them to work. I've been researching on the internet. I've found very few threads about it and, um, you know, how to make them work on the older Civics. So, you know, I just had to get into it myself. Um, so let's go take a look at that. All right, guys, I've just been playing around with this spoon caliper combo with the CRV knuckle um, for the EG. As you can see, this knuckle is a lot beefier than the EG one. Definitely a little bit heavier, um, but that won't really matter for this application. I've already put a new wheel bearing in here, fresh wheel studs, and a new ball joint. Now, as you know, or may not know, the monoblocks are actually 
made for a RSX. If you'll notice on the RSX, the caliper uh, goes in the back of the wheel. And on the older style, the Civics, the EGs, it goes in the front. So this caliper is actually made for those style cars. So the big thing is, just when mounting it, um, when you mount it on this, is you end up with your bleeder screws on the bottom and the crossover, crossover tube on the top, which, you know, makes it hard to bleed. I see some people online doing it. They're taking the caliber off and they're putting something in between it so they can bleed it with it pointing up the right way and then bolting it back on. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually swap these bleeder screws over to the side where the crossover tube is. And it looks like they'll swap over. I haven't found any information online about it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. Okay, so with changing these bleeder screws around, this little piece here was actually inside here. Now it needed to come out so that the bypass tube could be switched to this side, so it's now on the bottom of the caliper, and the bleeder be back on the top so that it can be bled properly. Now I had to be super careful with this. It's really soft. Um, so I could get out without damage it. I lightly tapped it easy out into it and pulled it out. It doesn't look like it's damaged it at all. So I am going to um, reuse these. So we've installed the bypass tube back in. We're gonna tighten this up. We're going to tighten our bleeder screws back up and we'll get this ready to mount and see how it fits. Okay, I do have one of these switched over now. As you'll see, this one has the bleeder screw on the top with the large piston that goes on the bottom. Now this one still does look similar as it would be for this side of the car, but you see the big piston is on the top. So this one is actually going to go on the passenger side of the car like this, which will give us our bleeder screw on the bottom. Uh, I guess this would be if you were looking at it from the right side. So your bleeder would be on the bottom, so that would cause a problem. So this one needs to be swapped around as well, so it's opposite of this one. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw this spindle on and see if I can get this caliper and roto combo to fit. did already have the other one removed and the nuts off. I had everything here ready to go. I'm just going to put it on loosely right now. Um, I still do have to put the axles in this when I throw the engine in it this week. I just am looking to mock this up um, basically just to see if I have the parts to complete it right now. Uh, I can't find any rock solid information online about which rotor and combo actually works with these monoblocks on the EG. So I'm hoping that I got the right selection. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and install our rotor. This is a Brembo rotor. And our rotor screw to hold it in. It's definitely a big break for a uh, EG. All right. Then we will add the caliper, nice and sparked. Sometimes these are a little tough to get threaded. I 
All right. So we got it bolted up. As you can see, it looks good. The rotor makes it all the way in the caliper. This rotor here is actually in between size of for a Type R and an RSX. Um, basically just picked it off the shelf at my parts place. Now we're gonna have to put pads and stuff in there. I think I'll grab one of the uh, five bolt wheels just so I can take a look and see if it fits over top of this caliper so I can get an idea for a rim combo. These slips that you see on the car now, uh, I just add for roller purposes. They're, uh, they're not staying on it. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty much it for tonight, guys. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little insight into that uh, spoon monoblock calipers on the EG. Um, like I said, we're gonna be getting into a lot of stuff in the upcoming weeks with part installs for that build and also customers cars. Um, you know, besides me building this car uh, for myself, I have a lot of customer cars that I need to get done. And that's probably what you'll see me doing a bit of uploads on this week. Uh, I'll probably work on those most of the week and then maybe on the weekend I will uh, be able to get back to, um, you know, my EG and um, we'll get some more stuff installed in that. Probably going to get the engine in it and um, go from there. So that's going to be it, guys. I uh, hope everyone has a good night. And um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. We're going to get the subscribers up so we can get everything we can out to you guys. Later.